the Duchess of Sussex has stepped out in one of her most daring ensembles yet, after sporting a thigh-flashing dress on Fraser Island. Meghan wore the Reformation pineapple dress, as she and Harry explored the Australian tourist spot, where temperatures hit a balmy 24 degrees Celsius on Monday, with Prince Harry. It marked a dramatic departure for Meghan, who has gravitated towards a more conservative wardrobe, during the first trimester of her pregnancy. However, Australia's balmy climate, and the fact that she is no longer hiding her baby bump, may account for Meghan's more relaxed approach. Priced at £166.56, the lightweight striped number featured a daring thigh-high split, tie-waist and carmy strap style. The Duchess linen dress was buttoned at the thigh to avoid flashing too much skin, and she paired the cotton number with lace-up sandals by Sarah Flint, and sunglasses by Karen Walker. US brand Reformation has a host of famous fans including Carly Kloss, Sienna Miller, Gigi Hadid, Taylor Swift, and even Princess Beatrice. Monday's look was a far cry from Meghan's maternity style so far, which has seen her opt for ankle-length hemlines long sleeves and high necklines. Indeed, it was her ultra-conservative, structured given chi coat, worn at Princess Eugenie's wedding earlier this month, that first sparked pregnancy rumors. After Meghan had greeted him at the end of the pier, the couple walked down together to meet the waiting crowds, hand in hand. They were greeted by the Premier of Queensland, before stopping to watch a butler people dance group on the beach surrounding by cheering well-wishers. They stopped to chat to to Elizavich, 10, and Grace Homerman, 8, who caught their eyes with a sign that read, Harry and Meghan check us out. They told the couple how they had held a royal wedding party to celebrate their marriage back in May. Oh my goodness, how sweet of you! exclaimed Meghan. As she left, the Duchess remarked, in a thoughtful nod to their sign, and now am I have checked you out. The Duke was also taken by a sign reading Ranga's Rule, an Australian slang reference to his ginger hair. Jada Quinn, 9, said, My dad is a Ranga and I'm a little bit a Ranga and he appreciated the sign. Her sister, Ella, 12, said, It was a bit overwhelming, I started to cry a little bit. She was so kind and she shook my hand. Julianne, Ebony and Lily Reed gave her a homemade baby changing mat. The expectant couple appeared utterly delighted by it. Does it have koalas on? asked Harry. Indeed it did, as well as every other notable native Australian animal. They have got to the be the most beautiful couple I have ever met, said Lily. Megan also bent down to speak to Line Walk, 85 years old, Fraser Island's oldest and longest living resident, at 45 years and counting. She asked me since I was local what I would suggest she have for tea, Mrs. Walk recalled. Seafood, of course. I told her. Oh, I'll have to give it a try, she said. Mrs. Walk also recalled how she had got to meet the Queen on her first visit to Australia, in 1953 to 1954. Auntie Joyce, 87 years old, told Meghan that although her name was Joyce Owen, everyone called her Auntie. I told her a story about my father, which she loved, and I wished them every happiness in the world with their baby. She said thank you and that they were so happy.